Hey everybody, it's Steele from the forums. Uh, do a little quick video on a charger that I've built. Uh, I'm just going to start it off with the, uh, how can I explain it, the idle consumption of the charger. So uh, it's about 47 watts as per the kilowatt meter. And the power supplies are, so it's a Conador DC power supply. Uh, these are medical grade supplies. They're rated for about 5.3 amps. Um, I, th I believe it's stock 200, well, not, uh, well, 250 watts. I think you could just use passive cooling, but the supplies actually can supply a little bit more than 250 watts. I've seen them peak at about 300 to 350. And uh, for a steady load, they recommend, or manufacturer recommends to use a uh, cooling fan. And uh, it's very interesting. It's got, it's also got a sense wire. I guess to detect load and stuff. I've never really hooked it up t to uh, see what it does. But I'm guessing something to do with voltage sag or something like that. It adjusts the current and such. But uh, no need. I'm going to be using it as a charger. I don't think I'll need that option. And uh, here it is. These are three 40 volt supplies in the series. Uh, to charge at a, a total of about 5.3 amps at about 150 volts, let's just say. Uh, so it's going to be for my high voltage bike. And uh, it's also using the uh, mini limiter boards uh, from TP Packs. Originally when I got them, they wouldn't work without these limiter boards. And uh, with the help of Fetcher and the forms, he explained to me the problem with the with the, the supplies, and uh, I was able to add the board for an extra few bucks, and uh, they work great. So I used all 14 gauge wiring, soldered all the connections up, and I got some 18 gauge power wire, which I think I might have to change. But we're gonna see how hot it gets when it runs. Again, some 14 gauge, some power pole connections, about two meters of wire run to the bike. They're very well designed. A little overview of them. So you got your fuses here. I believe this is like a, a current limiter in the supply itself. This is the voltage. I should unplug it, eh? <laughs> I want to zap myself. So yeah, this is the current limiter from the Fetcher's board. There's a current limiter in the supply, and there's the uh, the voltage adjust. This is that sense plug that I was talking about. It's got about five pins on it. Yeah, I've seen another fuse in there. <laughs> but they're, they're really well-designed supplies. I really like them. I picked them up for very cheap. And uh, they're medical grade uh, power supplies and they got uh, what they're called or what is called PFC power factor correction which uh, I learned from Dr. Bass that's a very good thing for a supply to have they're very efficient and uh, I also these supplies you could purchase from manufacturer the cover however um, I pretty much found it impossible to probably find it so I just made my own <laughs> which you may have seen here it's just a piece of metal, probably about a millimeter thin of metal, and I drilled a hole in it. Added a little uh, fan in there with the, uh, the the metal shroud, I guess you could say, some zip ties to hold it all together, and uh, basically you could just plug it in. So I got to do one more, but I have two cases done. And uh, should so look something like that. So this is going to be a stationary supply. I mean, <laughs> I can't. It's it's pretty heavy. I mean, it probably weighs about. I'm going to say about ten pounds or so, maybe less. I'm going to say maybe eight. I should weigh it just for the curiosity. But I mean, a lot of <laughs> three supplies got the metal covers. I use a nice piece of uh, plexiglass, which I bought for about 25 bucks at Home Depot. 
and I mounted them all to there. And I also decided to leave a little bit of a gap. I don't think you'll be able to see it here. Maybe if I show it to you here. So you can see there's those two washers underneath. And there's about maybe a two millimeter gap. And I just found that these suppliers have the MOSFET right here. So here's the, the MOSFET that takes all the uh, the load, I guess you can say. And it's just right directly in the middle. So I just found that I want to leave some room for some air to pass through there. And, you know, I don't want to heat up against anything else. I want to get some good airflow down there too. So some vents through here. So I'm hoping the fans... I might have the fans, right now I have the fans blowing into the supplies, but I'm going to test uh, with a thermometer. I'm going to blow the air in and I'm going to blow the air out and see which uh, method works better with just, you know, to simply just uh, switch the, the way the fans blowing isn't any big deal, but whatever works better. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Can't wait to get it going on the high voltage bike, hopefully for 2011 season. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Right.